Hey, welcome back to the channel. John Green here back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to upgrade your EvenG instance uh, from 5.0 to the newest release that just came out, which is 5.10, which will give you access to all of the new features that were added in that particular release. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and dive into the video. All right, so if you can see my screen right now, you can see that the current instance of EvenG that I'm running is 5.0.1-106 Pro. And it's worth mentioning that all of the steps that I perform in this video for the Pro Edition will be pretty much the exact same steps that you would perform for the Community Edition. So feel free to follow along. But I'll also link EvenG's official documentation that I'm referencing in the description for you to follow along if you prefer to view that information that way. So to get started, I'll go ahead and pull up a putty session to my EvenG server and log in. All right, now that I am in, the first step of the documentation for performing this upgrade is to free up the EvenG Pro instance from older packages that are running on the this EvenG instance. In order to do that, I'll type the command app auto remove, which is one word. It went ahead and did that. I'll go ahead and check to ensure that none of the directories that I currently have are occupying more space than needed. So if I do a df-8, I can see huh, I have these, which are currently at about 100%. But the main ones that I'm looking for is the dev mapper Ubuntu, which is currently sitting at 32%, which is good. And also it wants me to look at dev SDA, which is right here and that's only sitting at about 15%. So that looks good to me as well. So I'll go ahead and proceed with the third step. Uh, and it looks like I skipped one step. So one of the first steps is ensuring that you have internet reachability. To do that, I can simply run a ping test to Google, this DNS server, and I see that I can get replies. So I know in my case, I'm able to successfully get out to the internet. The third step in their documentation is to verify that DNS is working. So it's one thing to ping an IP address and get a response, but in order for even G to run the script for the upgrade, it needs to be able to resolve names. So to verify that DNS is working, I'll try to ping the DNS name of Google, which is www.google.com. I'll hit enter. And here I can see I'm getting responses back from the IP address of Google. So that is good. Now that I've confirmed that DNS is working, I'll go ahead and enter the command apt update. I'll hit enter and I'll let it do its process. All right, so that just completed. It says 24 packages can be upgraded. Now I'll go ahead and perform the command apt this upgrade and hit enter. I'll hit yes and let it do its thing. All right, so here I can see that EvenG just finished performing that apt dist upgrade command. So now I can go ahead and perform a reboot and verify that EvenG is now running the latest 5.10 version. So I'll go ahead and perform that and hit enter. So as expected, my putty session has ended. So I'll give that a moment for the server itself to reboot and I'll attempt to re-access the server. All right, so after running a continuous ping to my EvenG server, I can see that it's now back up in an online. So I'll go ahead and log into it. All right, boom, and I can access it. And all right, so I don't see anything regarding the new version that it's on here, but if I go back to my browser, and I go ahead and give this a good old refresh, I can see that it, instead of running the previous version of 5.0.1-106, it's now running 5.01-120, which released on December 20th of 2023. So as of right now, uh, January 4th, that is the latest version of EvenG uh, that is out. Well, I hope you found this video helpful uh, for upgrading your instance of EvenG, whichever version you were on. If you happen to be upgrading from uh, 4.0 version to the EvenG 5.0 releases, I have a video that I put together. I'll link it somewhere right here in this area that you can check out. Um, but as always, thanks for viewing and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.